These were the days when I was volunteering for the Manor State Railroad. And these are my memories when I filmed them in action. I have fun memories on this railroad. Everywhere they go, I filmed them. And also other rail fans along the way. Had a quite history. Until at the time I did not realize I got the boot. No more volunteering for me. I realized I didn't know at first the owners of the Durango Serviton fleed no longer care of this railroad. Mariner Sick Railroad stopped operation and some managers left. Most of the equipment sapped for some couple of years. I always keep coming back up here hoping they were returned to operation. Waiting waiting. When I'm walking down this line, I'm having flash flashbacks back when I was volunteering, me and Bob Freeman. Bob is on the left, me on the right. Every shirt had fun working on this railroad. But my good friend passed away a couple years back. Except I still remember him, me and him, volunteering for this railroad. This railroad will return someday, hopefully, until a miracle happened. A railroad enthusiast came, came along and take action and the Manor State Railroad is returning back to its former glory. Nathan Meyer noticed the historic rolling stock and locomotives. He didn't want to see those um, brought in the way. So he came and saved this railroad from uncertainty. And this is the day when they did the first run. And I went inside the depot and haven't seen it for, for some time. And new schedules. If you want to ride, Check their schedule out. And a moment of tr truth. This came. And a whistle was heard off the distance. And people showed up to the fence. And I recognized the whistle. Pelson Lumber Company number 70. A 282 uh, Baldwin. Rowdy is the engineer and Brian is the fireman for the today's train. And one of the XSP uh, commuter coaches is 
painted to the Milwaukee World Hiawatha paint scheme is a heritage when the Milwaukee Row was running on these very rails. Recognize their passion of trains. They're going to make their station stop, then they're going to move down and run around its train so the locomotive can't be facing the right direction any back. I see a new recruit, and he's being trained. He's telling those people to uh, stay away from the crossing because the train's going to be moving. Number 70 has got a quite of a history behind her. Except I remembered when I was volunteering, um, when I was, when they were doing their work party, um, up there in the shops, the locomotive was in dismantle. The boiler was sitting on the ground and also with the tender. Uh, still had the old Rainier um, stamped on the side of the tender. Except, um, she was next to become a full running steam locomotive. And actually went into the shops and started working on her. Yeah, number 70 was just sitting at the right spot nice. at the right time at the right location. She ran on her own power and it did a numerous excursion runs on this very line. When they were getting ready to reopen this um this railroad I became a volunteer once again. I helped them out here in LB with other volunteers. We all cleared out the, the overgrown brushes and grass in the parking lot and also the right of way. It was something. Number 70 is a good looking steam locomotive. I'm glad it had gotten saved. Still going to the scrappers. <laughs> this locomotive is unique. Especially of its type.
Yeah, just in case you guys is wondering, this uh, this very locomotive and never was a coal burner. Ever since its lifetime, it always has been an oil burner. Keep that in mind, rail fans, if you don't even know about. They made a joint on the, the coaches, and probably after they're done, they're probably going to do an air test. And that baggage car sat for some time up here, and the last time it had been serviced, it was in 2007. So that car hasn't moved on its very spot used to set on the other side of number 70 the old uh, side in it went to the um, behind the the LB train station A lot of people at the platform, and they're anxious to get on board the ride behind number 70. And this, <laughs> it has a good whistle on it.
Well, I have to stop the chase right here. I would like to get in other stops, other crossings, except there's no um, access to the other locations um, from here. So those, just take a look at the when I caught them in action back in the past. Element number two, a three truck Shea, worked for the Ryanair Incorporated, and this locomotive was built in 1929. It's another Ryanair locomotive. This, I think it was going from the grade onto the S curve on its way to um, the mineral loop when they turn the trains around. So the tracks right now at Mineral Lake once was the balloon loop. The tracks are gone. They ripped them up. Now the trains are going into the mineral shops where the railroad um, has their museum up there. So people can get out and check out the exhibits. This time, uh, 7010 AMD um, F9, the only North of Pacific um, paint scheme it has on. And number 70 is heading, they're both heading down to Tacoma where they're hailing um, the Monterey Monterey swap meet at the Freyhouse Square. This was actually number 70's first run heading down to Tacoma because they didn't have the boiler jacking.
section the track they're heading on, the whole entire line is overgrown. And this crossing is buried with gravel. So eventually, they're going to get this line reopened again soon. Here comes number 70. It's just taking her, taking its time. I was talking on the scanner when when I was um, chasing number 70 um, said they join up together to make up this one train so now now the 7010 is taking the whole tire train down to Tacoma Uh, he's gonna he's gonna cook through here.
for more exciting videos from the TMC Clancy Action Videos. Thanks for watching.